Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to wrap up the Game State Manager. In the previous video we learned about the Observer Design Pattern. Today we're going to combine the Observer Design Pattern with the Singleton and State Design Patterns into one structure. Let's start with the Data Module. We need to create a Game State enum that we can refer to in the future when changing the Game State. Now let's work on our Game State Manager. In the previous videos we implemented the Singleton and State Design patterns. Just to remind you, this is an element of the Singleton Design pattern. That one as well. This is State, State and State Design pattern. Let's add the Observer Design pattern into the structure. Firstly, we need to modify the iState variable into an associative array of game states. Instead of accessing the array elements by index, we can access it by a special key instead. In this case, it is the game state enum value. Secondly, we need to create a private game state variable to keep track of the current game state. Thirdly, we need to add two functions for adding and removing the game state implementations. Next, we need to modify the setState function. Since the Game State Manager contains a list of all Game State objects, all we need to do is to change the Game State enum variable, which is used to access the elements of that list. We also need to add the getState function to be able to access the current Game State variable as well. Finally, we need to modify the execute function. Since iState is no longer a single instance, but an associative array, we need to specify which GameState object to use when calling the run function. Alright, we are done with the GameState Manager. At this point, what is left to do is to modify the menu and play GameState classes. Menu and play are practically the same. We need to import the GameState Manager and add update, process events, and render functions to both. Now let's return to our main function and initialize a window and create a game loop. Then we need to create game state objects and add them to the game state manager. And finally, we can compile and run the game. What you should get is a green window. When I press P, I enter play state. And if I press M, I return to the main menu state. That's it for today. In the next video we will implement a player moving on the screen. Have a nice day!